Hello and welcome to video 5 in my series 7 mistakes website owners make, website and blog owners make, and how to fix them. My name is Chanel Polk. I'm a writer, editor, uh, goodness, I've done proofreading, uh, content marketing, and a little bit of inbound marketing. And so, what I'd like to discuss with you is mistake number 5. Mistake number 5 is... People don't put themselves in the shoes of the people who will view their website or blog. Uh, you know, it's two different, very, very, very different perspectives. Website owner and reader <laughs> or website visitor, a blogger and, 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 and person who's reading the blog, okay? So these people are coming at things a lot of times from two different angles. And as a person who... Uh, has a website or blog, you have to be able to look at it objectively from the perspective of the person who is going to view it. Once again, you guys, I just want to ask you to excuse any background noise because I'm right here, city of Chicago. I live on the north side and I'm very near to the L tracks. <laughs> so you will hear noise every now and then. Okay, so back to the topic. Um, you know, I, I've seen people who've had websites um, that are pretty much um, online stores. And their main goal is to sell their digital product. It is to sell clothing. It is to sell whatever it is they're selling. And that is like all that's on the website, <laughs> you know. And so you see... Um, all these uh, digital products, you might see clothing, you see that this, that, and the other, and you see nothing that tells the, the viewer about what the website is about, or who runs it, or anything about the company. And so we have to understand that the saying goes, it takes seven times for a person to view your product or to learn of your brand, this sort of thing, before they actually become a customer. And the truth, so the truth of the matter is, uh, when they land on your website and they see those clothes, that's the, you know, or they see your digital products, although they may be interesting, that person who's viewing your website or blog does not know who you are. And trust has to be built between you and them first. In order for they for them to feel confident and comfortable making that purchase, uh, you have to ask yourself, what would it take for you to spend your hard-earned money at a website uh, or blog you've just landed on for the first time or maybe the third time? And you've never heard of this before. You've never heard of Chanel Pope before necessarily. But here I am, let's say you scroll down, and let's say I was selling my training series for 100 bucks, And you say, hmm, that sounds interesting, but I don't know about $100. Because <laughs> I don't know this lady. Who is she? What is she talking about? What is she selling? You know, you have to ask yourself from the customer's perspective, from the website viewer's perspective, from the blog viewer's perspective. Huh, what do I need to know? <laughs> what do they need to know before they separate themselves from their hard-earned money? So here are the things that I suggest people do in order to build trust with the people who come to their websites or blogs. First, I say add an about page. The about page is the starting point. And it tells people who you are and why you exist. And it's very, very, very important. When I shop uh, on individual websites, let's say I, I see something that catches my eye on social media and I click on the website, I go to the about page first. Um, and so I want to know your story. I want to know who you are, what you're about, and if you are legitimate. <laughs> it really is the real thing. If you are legit, and am I going to get my money's worth of whatever this is? So I clicked on the about page. Of course, we're on my website. I'm using for it. Excuse me, my blog, <laughs> which I use terms interchangeably sometimes, but they are two different things. Um, 
as an example. So let's look at my about page. So it begins here, I conduct keyword research and write search engine optimized blog posts, new style and feature articles, product descriptions and web copy for newly created and well-established blogs and websites on topics ranging from politics to health and beauty and every topic in between. Well, got a question for you. Does that tell you anything about Chanel Polk? Okay, so here's my answer to you. It tells you what I can do. It tells you what I'm qualified in. If you scroll down, it tells you some of the work that I've done for whom, and it tells you about my education and certifications. But does it tell you who I am? The answer to that is no. <laughs> So what you want to do, here's what you want to do, and as I described earlier, I'm in the process of changing and upgrading and updating my blog. So what you want to do and what I'm going to do with my about page copy here is that I am going to tell my story. Uh, I've said in previous videos that I started my blog, Forever Natural Hair, after I experienced hair loss. If I included that here, would that change your point of view, change your perspective about me? Let's say you're a woman who came to this about page and you read that I experienced hair loss. Maybe you'd be able to connect with me, say, hey, I, my hair has been thinning too. I, I know what she's going through. I know what she went through. And... I want to read more of what she has to say about that. Therefore, you click <laughs> click on the link and you, maybe you subscribe. So maybe, maybe you'll say, hey, look, my website is connected to a business. It's a professional enterprise. My blog is connected to a business. You know, I can't have all my personal information out there. Well, I have something for that. So I want you to think about a story attached to a business that you may know, that you remember, that resonates with you and that sticks in your head. Let me give you an example. Everyone knows who Mark Zuckerberg is, creator of Facebook. Why do we know who he is? Okay, he created Facebook, but we also know his story. We know that while he was a student at Harvard, he got with his friends. Okay, for one, we do know something personal about him, that he was socially awkward. Okay, so he gave us that much socially awkward. He's in his uh, dorm room at Harvard with his friends and they come up with this concept for a website called Facebook. That's his story. And I guarantee you, you could stop. Just a lot of people on the street, not everybody, but you say, hey, do you know the story of Facebook? Do you know how it was founded? Do you know Zuckerberg's story? And they would tell you a little something about it. Because that business has been successful in connecting with its viewers, its readers, and the people who use its product on a daily basis by, through telling its story. Okay, so if you have a business and you're not telling your story, um, whether it's through your about page or other content, it's very important that you do so. Because it, it's what makes your business real. And it it helps people connect to you know who you are and it builds trust with the website viewer also let's see what are some other things that we do to build trust well we can add testimonials okay because if i've never seen your website before and i don't know who you are but you want to sell something to me then I need to know that there are other people who've tried it, who got their money's worth, and who are pleased with the product. 
So testimonials are a great way of adding what's called social proof to your blog or website. So here, I do website assessments. So basically, I, I take people's websites, I look at them, and I give them a detailed breakdown of things they can do to improve them. Then I provide recommendations. Um, I show them the problem areas. And I've been getting good reviews on that. And so I added those reviews to my blog. It says here, Chanel literally rescued my website. Thanks a million for the assessment. Okay, because you don't know me. You know, I may look like a nice lady, <laughs> which I would say I am. But you don't know who I am. You know, if you want to purchase a service from me, you need to know that I'm legit. It's the real deal that I'm going to give you your money's worth. And one way to do that is through testimonials. So uh, we talked about social proof. Social proof also builds trust. Um, outside the scope of this video, I'm going to say a little bit about it, but you know, it's really outside the scope of things here is social media. And so, um, you know, if you have a page, a Facebook page, Instagram, Google+, Plus, that sort of thing, all of those things, if you have the numbers that show um, on your website or blog of people who share to social media, um, of people who like and follow your page, that sort of thing, that's, that's great at building trust. That shows a lot of people trust you, uh, see you as a resource. Um, have purchased your product, this sort of thing. You can use Yelp, a great website where people uh, post reviews of businesses, and you can link that back to your website so that people say, hey, so many people have reviewed this and have had positive experiences here. Okay, so I feel more comfortable as a website viewer. People will say, I feel more comfortable as a website viewer uh, spending my money, uh, buying these services, that sort of thing. Also, I'd like to add about the About page. If you have a business that has more than one employee, uh, you want to have all of your key players listed on that About page. So I want to see information about the owner, just a little bio and a picture, which is really important, uh, about, the bio, uh, about the owner and any other key players there because, you know, pictures, good quality pictures, um, that show people who are smiling, happy, confident, and, and ready to serve the client, <laughs> ready to serve the customer. Uh, so those are things that are important to show, along with a little bio that explains how they work in the company and how they work to serve the customer, because it is all about service. Uh, so those are just a few of the things that you can do to help people build, you know, build more trust in what you have to offer. Uh, you want to look at your website or blog from the perspective of the website viewer, the customer, the client, and you want to uh, structure it structure your blog or website in a way that provides as much information as possible to them about what you do. Uh, who you are, you want to craft a story around your business, your brand that connects with the hearts of the website viewer, uh, of the blog, you know, reader. Uh, you don't have to give up all of your personal information, but you want to look for for the the interesting parts that really connect, and that's what you want to put on your website to build that trust. Once again, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, come to my website and click on that Contact Chanel tab. You can also leave a comment or a question uh, on the video, and I'll be more than happy to answer it for you. Thanks again for watching, and we're on to video number six.